Hello everyone. Did you know that more than half of all known plant and animal species live in rainforests? Yet, dense forests make up only 6% of the world's total land area. Nonetheless, the size of these independent ecosystems is monumental. In addition, the dense forest in the Amazon basin has the greatest biological diversity among all rainforests, meaning we cannot encounter as many different species in any other tropical forest. While researchers have discovered countless plant and animal species in the Amazon rainforests in the past, the structure of the forest means there are still many unsolved mysteries. In today's video, we will discuss what's hidden in the unexplored regions of the Amazon rainforest. Let's get started. Where is El Dorado? It's believed that the lost city of El Dorado is hidden under the shadow of the Amazon and deep within the forest. Most historians think the tale of El Dorado is just a legend, but many explorers searching for the region rumored to contain the gold of the Aztecs and Incas have lost their lives there. Some call this area El Dorado, while others refer to it as the Lost City of Z. Scientists in the 20th century did not believe people could live in this part of the forest. At least, they didn't find it logical. They believed that it was impossible to establish large human settlements under the forest's challenging conditions. Primitive tribes might live here, but advanced societies? Not possible. However, satellite images today have revealed over 200 large earthworks in the upper Amazon basin, suggesting that a great civilization might have once lived here. These earthworks, in the form of circles, squares, and other geometric shapes, could be ancient roads or trenches. Some traces date back 2,200 years, while others are as recent as 800 years ago. Thanks to these satellite images, scientists believe that these structures, which have been erased over time, could be the remnants of lost societies. The people living here were indeed advanced. They were able to modify Amazon's diverse ecosystems to grow food and provide benefits to thousands of people. Yet, this doesn't prove the existence of a grand golden city. However, the discovery shows that the Amazon was once a bustling place, home to a city with a population of approximately 60,000. This population is higher than many medieval European cities. Thus, there were indeed cities in the Amazon larger than those in Europe. Forests shaped by humans, we mentioned that massive cities were built in the Amazon forest. We also know that the people living here made massive artificial islands to grow crops all year round and to combat floods. Yet, there is another secret in the Amazon that scientists are just starting to understand. For a long time, researchers agreed that Amazon tribes lived harmoniously with nature. Nobody believed these people cultivated crops, cut down trees, or did anything to disrupt the natural order. However, this might not be entirely true. Ecologists and their peers recently compiled a massive list of tree diversity in the Amazon and studied 1170 plots far from settlements. They identified 16,000 different tree species in these areas. However, they noticed that even though there's massive diversity, the newly discovered trees make up only 1% of the total species. It seems that this discovery proves that Amazonians domesticated their favorite tree species. They cleared the land, cut down native trees, and only planted the trees they liked. Even though there are 16,000 different species, most of these trees were Amazon tree grapes, Brazil nuts, and ice cream bean trees. In other words, ancient Amazonians were more active in agriculture than most people believe. Actually, these geoglyphs are quite simple, made up of geometric designs like squares, circles, and octagons. On the other hand, most of the structures are about 4 meters deep, and scientists say that the Amazon tribes began making them from around 1000 BC. That's about 3000 years ago. On the other hand, while the Amazon natives may have forgotten their purpose, they haven't forgotten the importance of these structures. So much so that local tribes continue to protect the areas where these earthworks are located as sacred places. The exact purpose of the geoglyphs may not be known, but we have a pretty good idea of why the natives used them, these areas were very likely ritual sites. Shamans probably communicated with the spirits of their ancestors, stars, and forest animals in these areas. Local communities also gathered in the area to watch these rituals because, as is known, 
these people believed that our existence intertwined with animals, plants, natural life, and even the cosmos itself. Recently, something incredible was recorded in the Amazon forest. To warn you in advance, what you're about to hear is truly extraterrestrial. In a remote part of the Amazon, an English tourist couple recorded an extraterrestrial visitor. Attracting some children in an isolated Brazilian village, these tourists accidentally captured a scene reminiscent of a sci-fi film. The video clearly shows a small gray figure hiding in the bushes. This figure was consistent with our familiar depiction of an alien. Even stranger was a weird bright blue light about six meters behind it, as if following the alien. No one could confirm exactly what happened in this video. It's hard to say what an alien was doing in the bushes outside an isolated Amazon village. So, do you think these alien images in the forest could be real? Or are these images just as fake as other alien stories? Share your thoughts in the comments. Researchers discovered a primitive forest tribe living in the middle of the Amazon with the world's healthiest hearts. It may sound odd, but this is exactly what was found. The Tsimane people of Bolivia have been confirmed to have the best heart health of any human group in the world. This forest life has given them nearly superhuman hearts. According to the lead researcher from the Memorial Care Heart and Vascular Institute in California, Dr. Rigoridans, this forest life has provided them with extraordinary protection against heart diseases. Their active lives, spent foraging in rainforests, completely cleared the cholesterol plaques in their arteries. This is the very thing that increases the risk of heart attack and stroke for most Americans. On the other hand, when the doctor conducted a CT scan on these people, he discovered that hardened arteries were five times less common than in American adults. This means their chances of going through their entire lives without a heart issue were 85%. The doctor also says that even the oldest of this tribe had the physiology of an average 20-year-old. The takeaway is that if you want to live a long and healthy life with better cholesterol and lower blood pressure, you can eat like an Amazonian. Yes, these people might be the healthiest on our planet. In the 19th century, the great British explorer Percy Fawcett described the giant anaconda living in the Amazon forests Fawcett claimed to have seen a prehistoric snake that was 12 meters long and 0.3 meters in diameter. This made it much larger than any snake known today and brought it closer to the prehistoric titanoboa that lived in South America millions of years ago. Percy, a famous Amazon explorer who went searching for the lost city Z and vanished with his son Jack in 1925, was passionate about the existence of a lost city in the forest and died trying to find it. Hundreds of others who tried to find this city died with him. However, he wasn't the only one who claimed to have seen this giant snake. The natives called this creature, Yakamama, which means, mother of the water. Even other old explorers told of seeing a giant snake living in the Amazon River Basin. Some said the creature was 12 meters, while others claimed it exceeded 30 meters. The forest islands were created by the ancient inhabitants of the vast Amazon forests. These people constructed artificial plots of land in the region to use the wild plants of the forest and create spaces for crops. If you had told European explorers and scientists about this a hundred years ago, they wouldn't have believed you. This recent discovery provides ample evidence that these people had a significant impact on the landscape. When humans arrived in the Amazon approximately 10,000 years ago, they transformed the landscape completely. More specifically, these mysterious forest islands were used for growing maize and squash. Scientists have identified 4,700 such forest islands in northern Bolivia. Additionally, the region experiences extreme weather. From December to March, everything is drenched, and the entire area is submerged. But from July to October, this part of the forest becomes extremely dry. These artificial islands were constructed with mounds of soil in such a way that they would be above water during the rainy season. This was extremely ingenious and a perfect method to ensure the growth of crops all year round. Without these artificial islands, the water would destroy everything, and squash would not grow. This discovery also proves that small communities in the Amazon shaped the forest 8,000 years earlier than previously thought. As a result, the Amazon can be considered one of the earliest places where plants were domesticated. In an isolated section of the Peruvian Amazon, 
there's an ancient monument called Harak but face or Rostrohakbet. Eric Bulud Hero is the name of an indigenous group that has lived in this part of the Amazon for centuries, and the carved face on the rock has become legendary over generations. Whether this mysterious face was created to represent a human leader or is a result of a natural event is unknown. Even the local tribal people aren't sure if it was made by their ancestors. Strangely, it's said that there are even more of these faces in the region, but no one has seen these other faces so far. In Cosmic Villages, researchers fired billions of lasers from a helicopter hovering over the Brazilian Amazon. These lasers were used to search for lost Amazon settlements and other potential structures below the forest, and the results were quite successful. Using laser technology, researchers identified about 35 abandoned villages. These villages were built between 1300 and 1700 AD, which is relatively recent. However, the strange part is that these cities were organized in a way that they would mimic the cosmos. When viewed from above, these villages, which appear primitive from the surface, were designed in a pattern resembling sun rays. Furthermore, every village had a diameter of 86 meters. There were two main roads running through every village, and smaller paths leading to nearby bodies of water. Also, these identical villages were only five kilometers away from each other. The main roads connecting each village formed a massive village network when viewed from above, and all these villages together represented the cosmos. So, the people here were so knowledgeable that they could mimic the stars and celestial bodies they saw in the night sky. Amazon has about 70 times more water than the Rhine River, and it is known that various animals and plants live on its shores filled with rainforests. To give you a better understanding of how large the forest is, it's larger than the combined size of Germany, France, and Spain. The Amazon rainforest is not necessarily known for its size, but it still covers an immense area. Thus, when talking about the largest entities in the southern world, you might want to include the Amazon rainforests. It's not a country on its own, but it definitely has the capacity to be. However, exploring this mesmerizing region naturally comes with challenges. For example, aerial explorations might not yield conclusive results because the dense forests and countless treetops conceal the lands below. Direct research in the rainforests is also incredibly challenging due to extreme weather conditions and dangerous wildlife. Another fascinating mystery about the forest is that there might be tribes that have had almost no contact with modern civilizations. These ethnic groups know nothing about urban developments, but at the same time, we know nothing about their culture and lifestyles. We perceive these tribes as foreigners or people forgotten by time, but they think of us in the same way. Isn't that odd? These tribes aren't necessarily seen as a threat but people from the outside world might be terrifying or potentially dangerous to them. Hence, these isolated individuals often avoid contact with modern civilizations and often perceive us as predatory beasts. The Vale do Javari in Brazil, covering more than 85,000 square kilometers, is one of the largest indigenous regions. This area in the Amazon rainforest is not just one of the most remarkable parts but also one of the least explored. Current estimates suggest that about 3,000 indigenous people live in Vale do Javari. While many indigenous tribes around the world have encountered people from modern civilizations, there are certain ethnic groups in Vale do Javari that live in complete isolation. They live entirely independently of urban civilizations' inventions. Meanwhile, the Brazilian government has taken measures to protect these indigenous populations from adverse external influences. The reason being, contact between forest dwellers and outsiders could have devastating consequences for the tribes. For instance, the spread of new epidemics among the tribes is possible. Diseases like rubella or measles, easily treatable in urban areas, can claim numerous lives in remote forest settlements. Hence, local authorities have banned all kinds of contact with these tribes. However, over the years, a handful of people have tried to establish contact with these indigenous groups. But every attempt has either ended in tragedy for the tribe or the visitor. Thus, it's probably best to keep a safe distance from these individuals. Some people who have found mysterious objects unearthed from the Amazon basin claim that civilizations living here centuries ago had regular contact with supernatural beings, aliens, or gods from another realm. 
A discovery made by archaeologists in the southwestern part of the Amazon rainforest in 2018 proves that we genuinely know very little about the forest's significant secrets. To delve into the details of this discovery, researchers stumbled upon remnants of 81 previously unknown settlements. Experts who conducted detailed searches in the area speculate that these settlements from ancient times might have been in use between the 13th or 16th centuries. The total population of the region could have reached up to 1 million during its prime, which is indeed an impressive figure. Additionally, beautiful buildings adorned with countless stone decorations testify to the extraordinary craftsmanship of these unknown people. In conclusion, nobody can accurately estimate how many remnants are waiting to be discovered amidst the impenetrable thickets of the Amazon rainforests.